In this video I will show how to get a cat used to a carrier or backpack. I also show how to train a cat which has already a very bad opinion about it. Put the carrier or backpack into a room which the cat uses the most. Usually that will be the living room. Then put a towel or blanket into it and special treats. Special treats are high quality wet food or cooked meat like chicken hearts. You can also use turkey ham, but that should only be used when the cat doesn't react to any other treats because of the amount of salt in the ham. Dry food or cat stick treats only work for cats which don't have any negative opinion about the carrier or backpack. It's also important to do the training before feeding time so that the cat is hungry and motivated. Free feeding where the cat has access to food all day is very unfavorable and will make the training a lot harder, especially if you have a difficult cat. Now lead the cat with the food into the carrier or backpack. The cat should go into it all by itself. You should never ever put it in, push it in or force it any other way. If you use force, it will break the trust of your cat and it will increase the mistrust towards the carrier or backpack even more. If you have a difficult cat and it won't go into the carrier even if there's food in it, remove the lid and train without it first. When it works out well without a lid, start putting the lid step by step over the carrier till it's complete. When you lead the cat into the carrier backpack, it's very important to lead it out too. And it has to be repeated over and over. With a difficult cat, it's important to lead it out immediately after she ate the treat in the carrier backpack so that it doesn't run out on its own due to getting tense. Since if that happens, it will be a very big minus for the training. In general, when doing the first couple of training sessions, the carrier or backpack should never be closed, so that the cat doesn't see it as a trap. Praising with voice and cuddle is very important for the training. The training should be done every day a couple of times for around 5 minutes. Plus the carrier or backpack should stay open in the living room for the whole day. It's useful to put Valerian toys into it when not doing the training, so that the cat associates it with play. Catnip usually doesn't have much effect, especially with difficult cats. When that worked well and the cat is 100% comfy sitting in the open carrier backpack, you can go the next step. Now close it shortly, repeatedly and give the cat a treat. If that works well, increase the time of closing slowly. In general, I recommend to play with your cat a lot before every training with a closed carrier or backpack, so that it's not full of pent-up energy. Pent-up energy can lead to tension and lack of patience when being in a small closed box. After that works well, you can go the next step. Now you can start carrying the cat in the carrier or backpack around your home. Keep it short and give treats on a regular basis. When having success, start doing that outdoors too. Before doing the training indoors and outdoors, it's again very important to do a big play session with your cat. But now play with it that much till it's completely tired. With that it will be a lot easier for the cat to get carried around since it wants to rest anyway. Practice till the cat sits in the carrier or backpack completely calm without whining or doing any riot. But it also shouldn't be tense or like a statue squishing itself into the corner or ground. The cat should be calm and relaxed, but also curious and positive while observing the environment. If the cat starts whining or showing any other negative behavior, then you either rushed the training, didn't reward enough, did the training too long or didn't play enough before training. To be successful with the training, it's important to not stress yourself or your cat. So arrange at least one or two weeks for the training, with difficult cats more. So never ever start your training only a day before the vet visit or even the same day. I highly recommend to drive with your cat to the vet with your bike while using a bike basket instead of using the car. Usually cats are highly stressed while driving in the car, but they do enjoy after the ride training a bike ride a lot. I always drive my cats with a bike to the vet, but also to our areas for walks and hikes. How to get a cat used to bike rides is explained in a tutorial in the pinned comment. In general, I highly recommend to play with your cat a very big play session till it's completely tired, right before going to the vet appointment. It's very helpful against tension. Of course, that goes also for moving with a cat into a new home or similar. If you liked the video, you can leave a thumbs up and a comment. 
If you have questions, I will help.